Hey there, and welcome to this tutorial about the snowball effect. So this is the snowball effect. It's very simple to achieve it in Adobe XD, and I'll show you how to do it in just a few minutes of prototyping, so in a quick and simple way. So I have all this set up here, and I will remove everything that I have done. So I'll mark this, Control D. I'll inspect this so we don't have anything else. I'll remove everything. The only the only thing we got here is these shapes, the standard boilerplate. Um, so, and this is like a hamburger menu. It's created with just lines here, like a straight line. We'll switch it to white and we increase the border size and then copy paste it three times, right? And these have some nice little roundings as well. And I have yeah, how do you say, locked them. So the only thing we will work with is this one will switch to black in our uh, next state and it will also roll out the snowball underneath with some uh, menu items. So let's start. Um, we could copy paste this one. So control C, con uh, control D, I mean, or command D if you're on Mac. So we get the duplicate here. Perfect, I'll make some space between. So let's start off with the hamburger, right? We know it will turn to black. So in our state here, we could mark those three. I'll zoom in. Like that, and we turn them to black. So that's a simple one. So they will just turn to black. Uh, and on our first one here, let's see, we want to create the snowball, right? So I want it to go from, from around the hamburger and expand to be, yeah, cover the whole app. So we'll zoom in here and create a small little ellipse here with the ellipse tool. Like that. And we remove the border and we'll keep a white fill on it. And we could call it snowball here. And I don't want it to be on top of the hamburger, right? I want it to be underneath, right there in the middle. Because when we expand it, I don't want it to cover the hamburger to the on the second artboard. Okay. So we'll take this snowball, copy it, so Control V take the second artboard and paste it inside there. So we have it on the same spot and we'll drag it underneath the hamburger. And now we want it to we want to expand it, right? So I'll zoom in a lot so I can grab the corners and I hold alt and shift and drag. I'm on Windows, I don't know what it is on Mac. So keep zooming out, expanding it a little bit more, right? Maybe keep some of the original app. Oh, like that, let's say. Okay. And now, what do we have left? We have the menu items, right? So I will, on our second artboard, I will take the text tool and write like home, I don't know, art, about, contact, right? And we'll try to center them, something like that. And of course, they cannot pop up from <laughs> like that, from nowhere. So we control C, and we take our first artboard, control V. And well, of, they should go from zero opacity, I guess. But also, I would like to drag them up a little bit here. I don't know if it got, let's see, like there. So it will slide down with the snowball. So they're not, they, it, it will not be a simple transition from zero opacity to black. So now let's hit prototype and see what we have 
so we'll mark our first artboard, take the arrow and drop it on the second one, and it should be the tap trigger. So when we tap this one, it will start. And it's super important that we keep the auto animate. And for the easing and duration of the animation, we could try the original settings here. Otherwise, we will tweak them. And likewise, when we're done here, we want to add a transition to the first one on tap as well. Auto animate, we keep everything. And now I think it should work, right? So we hit play up here. And I'll press. Yeah. It looks good. So this is it. And I don't know if I need to clarify something. It was kind of straightforward, right? But one thing to remember is that you saw it was a lot of copy pasting. Maybe you want to add uh, something more. It's super important that you keep the same uh, layer names, right? So we shouldn't change the layer name on this one here. If we do that, we need to head into our previous artboard uh, and change the name on this as well. So yeah, you could introduce new uh, elements, right? Keep transitioning, but you need to be consistent with the layer names. And yeah, that's all. Thank you for watching. Bye.